Welcome devs. Today we're going to do functional testing using AI. I'm going to go over the weather application. This is a React JS app. Then we're going to create the Selenium tests. Then we're going to fix the bug that we actually found by using the Selenium test. So let's dive in. Our project that we'll be working on today lives in our Dev Labs repository in GitHub. Please feel free to download and follow along. Here's our weather application that we're going to be testing. This is a React.js application. Here's our desired functionality that we want to get. This runs in New York City. You'll see we get a location saved successfully, and then it navigates to the weather page. Okay, I'm going to add to the context our two Java files that are going to assist us in our Selenium testing. Then I'm going to go ahead and add the home.jsx file. This is our React.js application code that we want to test functionally. I'm going to then talk to Codiumate and tell it to please create this Selenium test for us. Okay, it created the test for us. So let's go ahead and copy that. I'll go to the home page. And now I pasted it in there. You are still the developer, so you have to look over this. Make sure that um, everything looks okay for the test. And let's go ahead and run this and see where we're at. Okay, if we look, we have actually have a timeout. The timeout is looking for this toast. So as we already looked at and saw the web page act action happening, what we didn't see was the intent and the functional intent was to have a pop-up that said success message is not displayed or a Codiumate at least feels that way. So we're going to now go ahead and look at our home.jsx file and see if we can't find this bug. Okay, let's find this bug. We know that we're looking for a pop-up that says location saved successfully. That's what a Codiumate said that we should be finding in our test. And we look at the code, that was the intent here. But some reason it's navigating over to the weather. So obviously this is a functional bug. You may or may not know how to fix this right off the hand. I'm not sure, so I'm going to go ahead and ask Codiumate, my developer buddy, or pair programmer, to just for the flow and readability, ensure that the navigation to the page only occurs after the swell toast notification has completed. So you'll see I'm giving this functional instructions to my pair programmer and say, do that for me. And what you can see that it actually did a pretty good job. It created the code for me and I'm going to paste it here. You are still the developer in the seat. So this would work and this is pretty good, but just like any kind of pairing exercise, it's a give and take. And with Codiumate, it's going to do a little bit more than what we wanted. It's going to actually time out, set a timer for 3000 here. Well, we already have a timer. So Hmm, that logically thinks like, nah, I probably don't need that. Now I could go back to Codiumate and say, hey, remove the timer, or I could just simply, in my flow, just go ahead and delete that. Now let's check the test and see if I run the test, if we have a pass. And you see that we're all green, so we actually pass the test and we're good to go. Let's recap. Codiumate created our Selenium test. We then found a bug based on that test. We then had Codiumate help us fix that bug. Thank you for developing with me today and happy coding with Codiumate.